question number five, that is our example number five, uh, it says that we should evaluate 202 square base 3 minus 112 base 3. Um, the first thing we will do is that we will first convert it to base 10, we will find the square and then we will do our subtraction. So it's not that hard, uh, it's very simple. We first convert to base 10, we'll find the square, and then we we'll do the subtraction. So we we'll go to our board, and then it says 202 two base 3 square minus 112 base 3 square. So the first thing we'll do is just we'll find. 202 is 3. We are going to find uh, the base 10 of it. That will be 0, 1, 2. That will be 2 times 3 raised to power 2 plus 0 times 3 raised to power 2 plus 2 times 3 raised to power 0 which is equals to 3 square, square of 3, 3 square is 9, 2 times 9 will give us 18. Uh, 3 square times 0 is automatic 0, plus 3 raised to power 0 is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, so we are having 20. And then remember that we, this one is square. If we now say that 202 squared is 3 will also be equal to 20 squared, which is equal to is 10, which is equal to 400. Then this 112, let's check that of 112. 112, 112 is 3. That will be equal to this 0. 1 and then 2. That will be 1 times 3 squared plus 1 times 3 raised to power 1 plus 2 times 3 raised to power 0. 1 times 3 raised to power 2 is 9 plus 1 times 3 raised to power 1 is 3 plus 2, raised to, 2 times 3 raised to power 0 is 2. That is 3 raised to power 0 is 1. 2 times 1 will give us 2. 9 plus 3 will give us 12. Plus 2 will give us 14. Therefore, 1, 1, 2 base 3 square will give us 14 square, which will give us 196. Now, the subtraction. Therefore, 202 squared minus 1 is 3 minus 112 is 3 squared is equal to 400 minus 196. Remember, this is what you are using, which is equal to um, which is equal to 4 um, 0 3 that is 3 0 4 if you, if you have to do it all that will be 400 minus 196 that will, that will be this will be 10 this will be 9 and then this will be 3 10 minus 6 will give us 4 9 minus 9 0 um, and 3 minus 1, okay, is 2. That's 2, 0, 4, not 3. Okay, we'll now convert this 2, 0, 4 in back to base 3. Okay, um, we are now going to do the subtraction, which is 2, 0, 2, base 3, square minus 1, 1, 2, square base 3, which is equal to our 202 
square is get what we have as our answer is 400. So we we'll write out 400 here. Minus this 112, the answer we got for this is 196. It will be 10. That's 196. Mind you, these ones are in this 10. So, what we we'll now do is that after we've written this, our answer is 204 base 10. Then we we'll now convert this base 10 back to base 3. 204 divided by 3. That was 68. Remainder 0. 3 again. That will be 22. Remainder 2. 22 divided by 3 will give us 7. Remainder 1. 7 divided by 3. Give us 2, remainder 1, and then it's not possible to divide 2 by 3, so we just write as 0 and then put our 2 here, which will now take this our remainder upward, which will give us our final answer. So, therefore, we now have 202 square base 3 minus 112 one, one, 2 square base 3 is equal to 21120 base 3, which is our final answer. Once you follow the normal procedure, certainly you get your answer without making a mistake. Question number 6 says find 101 base 2 square expressing the answer in base 2. Well, here we'll be multiplying directly. Actually, our question number 7 is similar to it, but here we will use a method for number 6 and then use another method for number 7. So, you now look at the best method which you are going to use, which is suitable for you and which is relatively fast. Because when we are in the exam condition, we have to it's not only test of knowledge, it's also a test of smartness. So I'll be using two methods, and uh, it will allow to you to use any of the two. Both are correct. So I'll be solving this one in direct multiplication method, using the direct multiplication method. So we have 101, this, um, we have to find a square of, of this. So I'll be using the direct method, the multiplication method, which is 010101. That is, this are 101 square is also the same thing as 101 is 2 times 101 is 2, which is the direct method. That is, when I mean direct method, you are not converting to this 10 before converting to uh, this 2. So 1 times 1 give us 1, 1 times 0 will give us 0, 1 times 1 will give us 1, 0 times 1, 0, 0 times 0, 0, 0 times 1, 0. 1 times 1 will give us 1, 1 times 0 will give us 0, 1 times 1 will give us 1. We now have this. Now this will be 1, 0. 1 plus 1 is 2. When this 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, remainder 0, so we we'll write our 0, which is a remainder. Now bring our 1 here, 1 plus 0 plus 0 will give us 1, and then 1 plus this is also our 1, which is our final answer for the direct method.
which is similar to question number six. Say so evaluate one 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 base two square and leave your answer in base two. Here we won't be using the direct method just like we use in question number six. Here we'll be using the indirect method where we're going to, the first thing we'll first do is to convert our 111 to base 10 uh -huh, before we now square our answer. So what we are going to have will be something like this 111 base 2 uh, square. What we will have, which is the same thing as 111 base 2 times 111 base 2. So now you want to we'll first convert for the indirect method, which will be also the first thing you first do is you have to know your power, that is the power to, to which the base is being raised, 1 and then 2. So that will be 1 times 2 raised to power 2 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 1 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 0. And anything raised to power 0 is 1. 1 times 2 raised to power 2 is 4 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 1 is 2. 1 times 2 raised to power 0 